wanted to bitch on me, but I bitch on him at the end of the day. And when I was dealing with him, I, some guy stuck his finger in my Not a lot, but a little bit. Matter of fact, since you did that, get on your knees right now. Suck my Besides, at the end of the day, he wanted me to shit on all of the crazy but that's a long story. <laughs> he literally shit on that. You know, like, you know, don't call no more. He wanted me to bend over and shit on him, but I was Hold on, bro. <laughs> hold on. 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 Yeah, every time I see this chubby. Come on. Come on. Go ahead and light up. Go ahead and light up, baby girl. Because I can already tell. It is what it is. I'm a down top. How about your boy all day in America? Two twinks at the same time. What's a what twink? Two twinks. A twink is like somebody that's like small, slim. Let's say 22 to about good 27, 28 years old. Word. Twinks is like my entertainment. I f them all day. Word. Okay. Okay. Say that. Say that. And then I had another one that watched while he jerked off. Was one of the fantasies I love. I want I both of them. Both of them was on a bad doggy style. So I banging him. One over here banged him, the other one's jerking off like crazy. But I couldn't bust in both of them, so I only bust in one of them. And bust means pregnant them. If there was females, they have daddy the off little kids running around. Daddy the Marco! And it goes from there. You ever been to jail? Yeah, I've been to jail. I've been in Rikers Island. I did back-to-back -back bullets. Anybody know about back-to-back -back bullets? It's only, it's really 12 months, which is two years, but it's really eight months. Off a good time. So I did eight months and eight months. Everybody was out there in the recreation room. He was in the shower. I was in the shower. It's like a, probably got like five showers and one for each, each shower. Out of five is a single shower. And I was in there washing myself up. He said, you want me to help you wash your back? Once he said that, I already know what it was. I said, yeah, come in here right now. He wasn't really dropping soap. He was dropping that so my go all day. That's where he was going. I ain't gonna lie, dog. I ain't even gonna lie, bro. Um, this man got me on defense. You gotta protect your booty hole at all times, dog. What the f did I just watch? What, yo, <laughs> what did I just watch, bro? You know what? He living his tr his truth. He living his truth, man. I ain't even finna judge, dog. Go ahead and um Go ahead and do your thing, big big dog. What is the biggest lie you've ever told? I'm not pregnant. What in the world? And you knew? No, yeah, damn well. What's the biggest lie you've ever told? Uh that I don't do OF. What's your OF? MJ the brat. I told her I was six feet and when she seen me I was five four. I'm handsome tall. That was that I'm a welder, dog. And you weren't? <laughs> nah, I just graduated, dog. I said I got 20 years of experience plus overtime. So why is this on your resume? Yes. No, yes. <laughs> Biggest lie I've ever told is probably uh, it's my body count. I'm sorry, guys. Lie was, you know, like two. <laughs> That's all I'm going to say. Hey, but you know what? You look good. Also about my body count. What did you say it was? I said it was two, but like... Times ten? No, I just subtracted one. <laughs> That's not that bad. It's a lie you've ever told. That I'm a... I feel as though most people lie about their body counts. Men too. It's some of y'all dudes out here be lying on y'all penises. You know what I'm saying? Adding numbers. Where there's nothing to add. Yeah. Some of y'all be lying. Women be lying too. Lying too. I'm going to keep it 100. If you tell me you, you bang three people, three to five people, I'm feeling as though you lying. I'm feeling as though you lying. I'm just throwing that out there. Let's say you had a man and he wanted you to dress more modestly coming to Countdown. What would you tell him? No. Fuck no. Absolutely not. Never change for a man. <laughs> no. Do you? And if he's I too insecure, if he's too insecure.
here, that's on him. I have a man, he's not here, and he's not dressing the way I want to be. Now, let's say, let's say you guys are, like, serious, and it's been about a year, and he's the one, and he's like, baby, I would really appreciate it if you cover up. What would you tell him? Um, then he definitely wouldn't be the one, because why is he still telling me what to wear and how to dress? Yeah. I, I think I would probably break up with him. I say single for a reason. I'm single for a reason. Let's say you had a son and he wanted you to change coming to the countdown. What would you tell your son? Fuck off. Clearly, <laughs> uh, but you have no input on what I do. I birthed you. You're, you came out of me. Don't tell me what to do. <laughs> Let's say you had a man and he wanted you to dress. I ain't gonna lie. Females like this um get on my nerves. But at the same time, bro, if you choose to wife a girl like that, then that's you. You know what I mean? If you choose to put up with that, then that's you. Y'all already know how I feel about the way women dress and how it can, you know, it can be potentially dangerous for them. We're supposed to be building a home together. At the end of the day, we're supposed to be building a home together. So if you out there showing cheeks and you showing cleavage and you just out here inviting sexual attention, that just means that the security in our home is weak. I was having sex with a girl. She came to the crib. She was smelling really good. Everything was cool. We were we were actually hanging out at this this spot before, um, you know, before she before she came back to the crib. So um, she go home. And she said, I'm going to go home and freshen up and I'm going to come to your crib. So she comes to my crib. I've been living here in L.A. at the time. She comes to my crib and, um, you know, we start kissing and, you know, we're we, we, we doing it. So I get my car and I put it on and I'm going. We're going, we having sex. Okay, cool. The TV is on. So the TV goes black for a second, you know, like when it's changing over to something else. Uh -huh. And then the light comes on. And I look down she and I see the condom. So I'm like thinking, damn, my condom came off. I grabbed the condom. And I grew, to put it back on, and, and I felt like my condom was still on. So I was like, yo, what the So she had a condom stuck inside of her. And I, the first thing I thought about it was like, how long was this condom inside of you? Wait, before? there's no way. That no. was the most disgusting shit ever. I just dropped the condom. Like, oh, what? Yeah, it was disgusting. It was crazy. See, now that's crazy. That's, that's some shit. That's I was crazy. Crazy. That, I, I, I would never, never heard nothing like that I would in all my years. Never, you could have never, I could have I, I couldn't imagine something like that ever happening, but it happened. What did she say? Yeah. Like, I'm sorry. Did you think, she was you like, probably, you probably, did you think like, was it one of your members before you? Like, spectacular. <laughs> what you know what this <laughs> I ain't never had no situation like that happen to me, but I could only imagine. Do you know how, um, do you know how Wide your pum pum gotta be for you not to feel the rubber in you, like while you traveling around. Now, I ain't gonna lie, accidents do happen, condoms do slip off, especially you know what I'm saying. If you, uh, if you, you know, do the do raw for a little bit, you try to get about three or four or five strokes in, and then you slip the condom on right away, that could potentially lead to some slippage. You feel what I'm saying? But if you if your wee wee dry and the condom just slipping off like that, then my boy, you're not buying the right size. Alright? You're not buying the right size. But besides that, man, that's disgusting. I don't know how I feel about that. I'm I'm in here trying to get my rocks off and basically um that means that somebody's rocks was spilling on my Johnson. Huh. That's net. Mm.